what's going on guys tonight we got a little bit of a different one i went down in my freezer and grabbed all of the goose meat that i had and gonna process it into goose bacon for the first time now usually we process venison into bacon and it turns out really good so i figured i got a bunch of goose meat left over from the season gonna be trying to turn it into something really delicious so here i have about 10 pounds of goose meat what you're going to want to do is pick up um, a pork butt that's weighs about the same so that your ratio is about one part of goose meat to one part of pork butt so that you get that fat first step is going to cube all the meat up um, both the goose and the pork and mix it together and we're going to be mixing our seasoning in while we do that for today we got the backwoods bacon cure maple by lem this packet seasons 25 pounds of meat we have about 20 pounds that we're doing tonight so i'm going to be putting the, all the seasoning in but the cure part i'll ratio it out for 20 pounds versus the full 25. so then once we got the uh, um, meat all cubed up seasoned up we're going to send it through the little grinder here put it in loaves and pans put it in the fridge overnight and then we're going to be smoking it tomorrow night so let's run through the process and see how it turns out so here you also want to take off any silver skin that you might think is going to get caught in the grinder. Look for any shot also, because that will screw up your grinder as well. Also, if you've never grinded meat before, it also helps if it's a little bit frozen still. It goes for the grinder a little bit better. As you can tell, this one is a little bit frozen still, just barely. That'll go really good. All right, got all the goose meat cubed up here. Now we will do the pork and we'll get to mixing. Okay, so we got the geese all cubed up as well as the pork. Now we're gonna put it in a big mixing container where we can add half of the geese, half of the pork in, um, throw the seasoning in, and then uh, the remaining in there with the remaining of the seasoning. Okay, so here's the cure itself, and then just the seasoning is in the bag with no additional bag. So we're gonna go ahead Add in half. If you're using a tub like this, just wash it out obviously beforehand and after. Go ahead and add two big handfuls here. Oop. Two big handfuls there. Add in about half the bag. Trying to let it drain a little bit because there's a little bit of that blood still in there. Try to get all the blood you can. Get out all of the blood. Okay. And the rest of this can go in. The rest of the seasoning. And then... <coughs> Ooh, that's strong. And we're gonna add the majority of the cure packet. Okay, now we gotta mix it up. All right guys, for the grind part, I'm gonna use the most coarse first and then I'm gonna get a finer bit um, on the second grind. Also when you're grinding, throw in one piece of goose, one piece of pork, one piece of goose, so on and so forth, just to help with the mixing part. Sometimes you might run into a BB, make that popping noise. Unplug it, take it off, see what you can clean out quick. All right, y'all, we got it all ground up in the coarse grind. Now we're gonna switch to a little bit finer and run that through and then we'll be ready for the next step. All 
I'm done with the first second first half of the second grind and it comes out as kind of like a loaf super sticky um, kind of like super fine ground beef what you want to do is get it really packed into the first loaf pan then we'll put this in the fridge and we'll do the second part all right we got those other two in the kitchen i'm going to cover them both with plastic like this and then they're going in the fridge overnight and then we'll put them on the smoker tomorrow night all right it's the next day we let this sit in the fridge overnight like i was saying we're going to take the uh, plastic off basically going to flip it over into the smoker and then so it holds its form while it smokes we're going to be smoking at 225 degrees um, if it doesn't want to come out of the pans just take a spatula and kind of go around the edges and then do that before you flip we'll also spray the spray the smoker grates beforehand real good so that we don't get any stickage all right let's see what we can do here All right, we got them all laid up in here. Probably could have fit three loaves, maybe, if I tightened everything up, three full ones. But there they are. It's probably gonna take about five to six hours at 225. If I had all day, I'd set it at 200, but gonna be shooting for that 165, 170 internal temp. So I'll be checking it as I go, probably every other hour. Pork, you're good at 145. Poultry, you're good at 165. So I'll go a little bit past 165 or pull it at 165 and then it'll climb a little bit too. Then we'll let it rest. We'll be able to slice it, give it a taste test, but I'll check it here in a couple hours and see how it's going. All right, we're about three hours in and this is what we're looking at so far. We're gonna check the temp. Ooh, about 160. 150 there. So I'll check it in another half hour or so and see what it's at, but they are looking good already. Well, we just hit internal temp of 165 on both. So we're gonna slide these bad, bad girls out. Oh, come on now. Just like that. that little guy on top looking mighty fine so my next step is to get these actually back into the fridge and get that temp cooled down and um get that meat soaking in some of those juices and then actually tomorrow we'll be slicing it it'll be a lot easier when the meat is cool so that it'll run through the slicer a lot a lot better than when it's warm so we'll pop these in the fridge and I'll see you guys when we're slicing it up. I'm going to give it a try. All right, guys, it's the next night. We're going to slice up this bacon. It's been sitting in the fridge overnight, like I was saying. So it's kind of firmed up and that'll help kind of move it through the slicer. Got my meat slicer here, a little pan in the back to catch it. So when slicing it up, if you're going to vacuum seal it, make sure and just cut it to length. Um, so you can see that these, this is the roll or width of vacuum seal bags that I'm going to be using. So then I kind of just, you know, place it to the width so that I know that the slices are going to be able to fit into the bags that I make. All right. So there is the inside. Set whatever thickness that you like. I think I'm going to go like a quarter inch. Uh, that should be that should be perfect thickness for then frying up after the fact. So let's do a couple and then see where we're at. Here we are. Looks pretty good. Good sandwich size. I wish I could do it a little bit longer, but my uh, my slicer just doesn't allow it. 
But yeah, looking pretty good. There's a thickness there. Good sandwich size. Whatever you're looking for, make it to whatever size you feel. I got everything packaged up. I grabbed three slices and we're gonna fry them up quick for a taste test. All that I usually do is just get a pan with a little bit of oil in it on medium to high heat. We're just gonna kind of flash sear them so that they get a little bit of crisp on each side. Probably only like a minute or two on each side and it should be set. All right, we just got done flash cooking them babies up. We're gonna go in for a taste test. We got some taste testers with us to see how it goes. Nice thickness. Taste that maple. Is it good? This is the two trust, true test. We put more down and so grab it. Oh, she likes it. Jackpot. What do you think? Good? Bad? Good? Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, I think it's, um. we can definitely taste the maple. I think it's just a little salty, this batch is, but it's still good. It's not overpowering. Okay, All right, Looks Mama Bear's gonna try it. Smells good. It is gum. It is very salty, but <laughs> I can taste the maple. All right, guys. So like I was saying, any uh, wild meat that you want to turn into bacon, this is a great recipe to do it. Uh, duck, venison, geese, whatever it may be. It turns out really good and good for sandwiches, breakfast, whatever, whatever it is so that you can eat it up. Right, bud? Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Take care.